Hey everybody, my name is Mohammed Raza. I'm a prayer dentist uh, at Columbia University. I had the opportunity to work under the supervision of Dr. Stephen Wallace, uh, performing many things, augmentation procedures. Um, some complications we had, uh, we dealt with at the time of um, the procedure, the sinus augmentation procedure. Uh, many complications can happen uh, in uh, sinus augmentation. The most commonly uh, common uh, complication is the membrane perforation followed by bleeding and then loss of implant into the sinus. I'm going to um, discuss two different patients uh, that had two different types of unique complications. The patient, first patient on the left side of the poster is a Caucasian male. He had um, presented with a chief complaint of missing teeth up the left side. You can see that um, in the CT scan, the patient has two septa anterior and posterior. The posterior one is a smaller one. Um, two vertical releasing incisions were made and crossing it was made using a piezo um, unit. As we were packing the bone graft uh, into the sinus, um, we saw perforation in the, uh, uh, in the distal wall. So we wanted to repair it at the same time so that um, it, 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 we can move forward with the completion of the procedure. We used a rigid um, collagen membrane. We tacked it on the posterior wall, followed by um, taking a post-op panorex showing about 15 minutes of the back material. And then after seven months, the final restorations uh, in place are seen. Uh, this is the second page on the right side of the poster. Um, this is how he presented from um, uh, having an attempted uh, transtrestal uh, um, procedure in a private practice. He had the implant dislodged into his sinus. Um, as the patient moved his head into different positions, we can see that the implant was um, dislodged into different positions. The entrostomy was made using a desk drill. Um, intentional perforation was made in order to remove the, uh, the fixture. Picture removed, and then we repaired the the perforation followed by placement of um, of the um, graft material. Um, healing abutment was placed uh, as there was enough uh, height and there was a good sufficient uh, remaining width. There's a final radiograph followed by um, the final restoration in place. I just want to conclude by saying that um, if if one has a complication during the sinus augmentation procedure, they should try, should try to manage it at the same uh, appointment in order to avoid a more difficult um, procedure uh, um, by going in at a second surgical uh, phase. Uh, and however, one must be well prepared with the proper tacking kit, the proper type of membrane. And um, yes, thank you so much for your attention.